Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about the parabola. Transforming standard form to general form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 3 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we answer these basic examples of parabola. So feel free to see the video class for the part 1 of our video. We just answer this one. And for the part 2 of our video class, we answer this number 1. So once again, if the given if the given equation contain fraction, so what will be the thing that you will do if you have this kind of equation? Now for the part three of our video class, once again the equation contains fraction. So what will be the thing that you will do if you have this kind of equation? So we will be explaining that one class here step by step. So let's answer number two. This will be the part three of our video. Once again, class, if you're dealing with fractions, the thing that you will do is you need to eliminate the denominator. You need to remove this denominator, class, for you to answer this one easily. Alright, so let me copy the equation. x minus 2, quantity squared, equals 8 over 3, y minus 14. And what would be the thing that you will do so that you can remove this denominator, 3? Of course, we need to multiply it by 3, class. Multiply it by 3. Why is that, sir? Because 3, we can divide this one by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And we can just simply remove the denominator. Now, once you multiply 3 on the right side of this equal sign, you also multiply 3 on the left side. Okay? Multiply it by 3. So, you can now remove this denominator plus. Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, you can remove that one. So, the remaining equation will be, you multiply this one plus, you distribute... So once again, you just you just simply distribute that one and you cancel 3. So this will be 3 times x minus 2 quantity squared. Alright, so once again, if you distribute this one, this will be 3 times 8 over 3 quantity y minus 14. And you just simply distribute, you just simply cancel that one. So that's why your remaining equation on the right side, you cancel this out will be 8 quantity y minus 14. And you are not dealing with fractions anymore. And it will be easy for us to solve this one class. Alright, so once you're done with that, you simplify this one class. So once again, you multiply what is in denominator for you to remove the denominator. And we select 3. You multiply 3 on the left side of this equal sign, also in the on the right side. So you distribute. And the remaining will be 3, quantity x minus 2 squared equals 8, quantity y minus 14. Alright, you simplify. Once again, do not multiply 3 and this quantity because we need to follow PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. So we need to simplify this one first. x minus 2, quantity squared. So once again, x minus 2, quantity squared, we can do the FOIL method or we can do the square of binomial. So, we will be explaining the, the two things class, the square of binomial and the FOIL method, for you to really understand how to solve this one. So, it depends on you class, which do you prefer? You can do the FOIL method or you can do the square of binomial. Let's start with the FOIL method class. So, x minus 2 quantity squared using the FOIL method. Now, x minus 2 quantity squared, it means you multiply this x minus 2 by itself twice. This is the same with x minus 2 times x minus 2. And you can do the FOIL method. Okay, first, outer, inner, last. So first, x times x, that would be x squared. So we're done with first, outer. x times negative 2, positive times negative is negative. x times 2, that's 2x. Alright, then inner. So negative 2 times x, positive, negative times positive is negative. 2 times x is 2x. Negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. Then last, negative 2 times negative 2, negative times negative is positive. 2 times 2 is 4. Then combine like terms. You can combine this one class. So copy x squared. Once again, if they have both negatives, negative 2x and negative 2x, copy negative sign. Then simply add a number. 2 plus 2 is 4. Then copy x plus 4. So this will be the answer using the FOIL method. So 3 quantity x squared, you simplify this one, this will be the answer, 
minus 4x plus 4. Alright, but for me class, once again, it's better to use the square of binomial for you to answer that one easily. You can just answer this one in 3 to 5 seconds if you master the square of binomial. So let me explain the square of binomial class. Once again, let me write the equation x minus 2 quantity squared. So this is the equation class or the procedures of the square of binomial. So once again, if you want to know more about the square of binomial, I will just put the link class on the description down below with regards to the square of binomial. So the square of binomial, it says you square the first term. So this is our first term x. You square it. You square the first term. The second procedure, multiply the first term and second term times 2. So multiply the first term and second term. So x times okay, x times negative 2 times 2 times 2. Then you square the last term or square the second term. Square the second term. So we have negative 2 for our second term, then squared. So your final answer will be x squared. Alright, multiply the first term and second term. x times negative 2. That would be negative 2x times 2. That's negative 4x. Then you square the last term. Negative 2 times negative 2. Or you square the second term. Negative 2 times negative 2. That's positive 4. And you will get the same answer class. x squared minus 4x plus 4. So in the square of binomial class, let's try an example. If you master this one, it will be really easy class. Example, x plus 5. Then quantity squared. So when you answer this one using the square of binomial, this will be really easy class. So you square the first term. So x times x, that would be x squared. Then you multiply the first term and second term. x times 5, that's 5x. Times 2, that's positive 10x. Then you square the last term. 5 times 5, you square this, this 5. 5 times 5, that would be 25. That's it, class. You can just answer it one, that one easily. I think 3 to 5 seconds if you master this one, class. The square of binomial. So for you, class, I think you need to master this one. Because you're dealing with more equations for this one. Alright, so this will be our answer. Then you copy 8, then quantity y minus 14. Alright, so next step is we do the multiplication. We distribute this one. You multiply. Okay, and this one also. So 3 times x squared, that would be 3x squared. You simply dis do the distributive property class. You multiply. 3 times positive x squared, that's positive 3x squared. 3 times negative 4x, so neg positive times negative is negative. 3 times 4 is 12x times non-copy. Or 3 times negative 4x, that's negative 12x. 3 times positive 4, that's positive 12, equals 8 times y is 8y. 8 times negative 14, okay, let me multiply, 14 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32, 2, carry 3, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So negative, that's negative plus because positive times negative is negative, 112. Alright, and then you arrange, you arrange this one class, you follow this format. So we have x squared, so therefore we need to follow this format. So we transpose all of the equations from right to left. Alright, so copy 3x squared, then copy x, negative 12x. So once again, x comes first before y. Check the format class. Once again, x comes first before y. But actually class, it's necessary that x comes first before y if they have the same degree or exponent. Example, 5x plus 6y. Actually class, that's the same if you write 6y plus 5x. It's actually the same class, but in algebra, they arrange it alphabetically. X comes first before Y, because X comes first before Y in, in alphabet. But if they have the same degree, raised to the power of 1 and raised to the power of 1, X should be comes first before Y. So that's why you have DX and EY, because they have the same degree, so X comes first before Y. But if this is X squared, 5X squared plus 6X, it should be x squared comes first before x because x here, the exponent is just 1. And this is 2. 2 comes first before 1. 
So I hope you understand with this one class because there are some students they are so confused if which comes first, y or x. Of course, that would be x class if they have the same exponent, one. So this one comes first before y, because in algebra class they arrange it alphabetically. All right, so x once again do not change the sign of 12x because this 12x is still on the left side of this equal sign. So copy negative 12x. For y, we transpose y. So once again, check the equation plus we have dx, then ey. This is positive 8, it will be negative 8y. And then copy positive 12 and transpose this, const this number, this constant. This is negative 112, you change the sign test. This is negative, it will be positive 112, then equal 0. All right, and then check if there's, there are like terms. Yep, we can combine this constant, this number. So copy 3x squared minus 12x minus 8y, 12 plus 112, so 112 plus 12, that would be 4 to 124. Positive 124. Okay. Alright, we're almost done. Positive 124 equals 0. Alright, so almost done. Now, check this one class. The general form of the parabola, it says x squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, in which the number before x squared is just 1. Once again, class, the number in x squared and y squared is just 1. Now, since we have 3, therefore, we need to divide this equation by 3. Why is that, sir? Because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, we can get 1x squared. We can have this equation. Alright, so divide the equation by 3. And you will be asking, why is that, sir? Because the general form of the parabola, it says 1x squared. x squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. If you didn't see any number before x squared, understood there's 1 here. So, to make this equation 1, we need to divide it by 3. Right, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. So divide it by 3, divide it by 3, divide it by 3, and divide it by 3. Alright, cancel this out. So copy x squared, negative 12 divided by 3, that's negative 4x. Negative 8 divided by 3, nope, we cannot divide it 1. You get a decimal answer. So simply copy. You check class if we can reduce the fraction. Can we reduce? Nope, we cannot reduce. So simply copy negative 8 over 3y. Can we divide 124 by 3? Let's check. 124 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 0, bring down 4. 4 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3, nope. We have a remainder. Okay. 124 divided by 3, we will have a remainder class. It will be decimal. Or you will also know class... If the number is divisible by 3, by simply adding the number class. 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. Is 7 divisible by 3? Can we divide 7 by 3? Nope. Therefore, we cannot divide that number. That's how you check the divisibility of 3 class. You just add the numbers. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. Is 7 can be divided by 3? Nope. Therefore, this number is not divisible by 3. Or you can divide to, to check if it's really if if it's 124 can really be divided by 3. So 12 by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. You subtract 0, bring down 4. 4 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract 1. You have a remainder plus remainder 1. So therefore, therefore we cannot divide 124 by 3. So Check if we cannot re if we can reduce. Nope, we cannot reduce. So simply copy class 124 over 3 equals 0 divided by 3 is 0. That's it class. This will be our equation. Final answer for the equation. So to get the value of D, D class is beside X with the exponent of 1. Once again, our DX, X with the exponent of 1. So our D is beside X with the exponent of 1. So, our D is beside this X, that would be negative 4. Our E is beside Y. So, our E is negative 8 over 3. 
and our f is equals to 124 over 3. That's it, plus all set for number 2. Alright, so if you have some questions with regards to parabola, some equations of parabola, go ahead. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. Once again, class, I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends, class, and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.